How y'all doing, folks? Welcome back. We're going to be doing a little bit of a mixed cook tonight. Uh, I've got uh, some chicken wings, which we're going to put on the pit barrel. We're also going to do uh, some uh, smashed potatoes on there. It's going to turn out great. Now, I've got something that I've never done before. These are ribs, and uh, they're beef ribs. They're center cut back beef ribs. And I should have shown you how I took the skin off, but they came off the, exactly the same way as you would take the pork ones off. So I've got some olive oil on there, and we're going to put some of this... Uh, TMB spicy on there. This is really good stuff. We're gonna get this fired up on the uh, on the Rectech Mini, and um, we'll do it low and slow just for a little bit. They're gonna crank it up and see how you know. I don't I, I don't have time to do these low and slow today, so we're gonna just do it a little bit warmer and see how they turn out. I only bought one of them because, like I said, I've never done these before. I want to try them out first and get it perfected before I start doing, you know, four or five or six of them on there. But they're a little bit smaller than the baby backs, and uh, uh, they should turn out great. they got a little bit more meat on them. So, like I said, we'll give you a look-see once we get them going. And, as always, thanks for watching. Well, hey, folks, we're back. Did I say we would see you at the grill? Well, I was wrong. We're going to see you up here first. I've got the wings. You can see I've got the wings nicely done here. I've got some olive oil on there, and I have used some of this uh, very, very special TMB sweet on there. A lot of sugar on there. It works very, very nice. I, I do have the pit barrel fired up. I'm just waiting for the coals to die down. You can see I've got two bowls there with... Uh, what appears to be two potatoes. Now I have par cooked those potatoes in the microwave to the point where they're pretty much soft. So I'm uh, just going to show you how we're going to how, how we're going to do smashed potatoes here. So we're just going to take uh, one bowl on top of the other bowl and just crunch it down. You see that? So then we take it out. Put it on our plate. This is going to go on the grill like that. And uh, I am going to put uh, some uh, sea salt on there, very coarse sea salt on there. I'll tell you what, this will very, be very, very nice. I can do the other one here. The other one's a little bit bigger. So I'll just uh, take another bowl, put it on top of there, and uh, boom. I'll tell you what. Yeah, it fell apart a little bit, but. We'll put it back together, it'll be fine. I'm going to put a little sea salt on there. Got to turn around. I got a little butter here. We'll, we'll put a little butter on top of those and it will be fine. And now folks, really, we'll see you at the grill. Well hey folks, now we're, now we're back at the grill. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. These have been on for the, the ribs or rib has been on, the beef rib has been on for going on two hours now. I have, I am cooking a little bit warmer. I started at 180, went up to 250. And uh, as you can see, she's uh, looking pretty nice. So we're gonna put some sauce on there. I did take the internal temp and uh, let me say she's up there, 180. Put some of this uh, Two Fat Guys uh, Gourmet sauce on there. It's really good stuff. Now the chicken wings we just put on. So we're going to let this kind of take the uh, temp down on the rec. That's what's great about these pellet grills is you can really have good control over the temperature. We're gonna let this sit here, and uh, we'll give you a look-see of the uh, wings once they get going. Yeah, uh, they are going, but they just started, so we'll show you that too. Thanks, folks. Hey, folks, we're back. We're right by the pit barrel cooker. Let's take a look. We just put the wings on, so let's take a look. As you can see, they just went on. It's gonna be a little bit here. Uh, if you own a pit barrel, you know that there's two pieces of rebar that go through two holes that go out the other side. Uh, when you're cooking on uh, the rack, those pieces of rebar kind of get in the way for turning food and such. So what I've used here is I've used uh, some little magnets and uh, there's these little strips of magnets just like this that uh, will bend very nicely and you can put them 
as you can see there, what I've got, I've, I've got them about uh, three quarters of the way up. So they're about a quarter open on each side uh, to control our venting here. I can open it up all the way or do whatever I want. You can see I've got a bowl on the side here with some sweet baby rays. Once these wings get closer to being done, I'm going to put them in there, toss them some sweet baby rays, and put them back. So I'll give you a look, see once we get to all that going. Well, hey folks, the uh, wings have been on for a while, so let's let's toss them up and uh, you know. Get them going with some sweet baby rays here. It's amazing how many people like sweet baby rays and how affordable sweet baby rays is. So I'm just gonna toss this stuff up here. I'm just gonna use one hand. A warm, but uh, nicely tossed up. And then we're gonna throw this back on the grill Obviously, we're going to wash my hands, and um, we're going to let it go the rest of the way, and we will show you all this plated up. And folks, you know what? Got a lot of the ideas, the smashed potatoes and everything. I got all those ideas from Let's Talk Barbecue.com, and I would encourage you, you know, if you want to do any serious grill or amateur grill, I'm just an amateur, and I'm on Let's Talk Barbecue.com, so give it a shot on Let's Talk Barbecue.com, and you will get a lot of great ideas. Thanks for watching. Well, hey, hey folks, there we are, all plated up. we got the ribs there. We've got the potatoes all, look at the smashed potatoes, very nice. Uh, we've got some wings over there with smashed potatoes too. Turned out very good. Easy cook here. Uh, hope folks give it a shot, and as always, folks, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.